Duncan the Humbug. It was Christmas on the island of Sodor. It was a very busy time. And a very happy time, too. All the engines enjoyed it. Except Duncan. He didn't like Christmas one bit. Bah, humbug. Hello, Duncan. Hello, Aeneas. Don't you just hate these cold winter mornings? It takes so long to get a steam up. I don't mind, really. And if the points are frozen at the junction, that means even more hanging about. <whistles> See you later then, Duncan. Oh, oh, oh no, I can you slow. Hello, Duncan. How are you? <coughs> well, not so great as you can see. I very nearly had an accident. Why don't you use your sandbox? I've used up all my sand. <sighs> I expect there's none left at the depot either. Morning, Duncan. Isn't this great? It's busy, and everyone's so happy. Well, it's all right for some. All these extra passengers are slowing me down. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> bah, humbug. <sighs> on we go, finally. As Duncan went on his way, Scarlowey felt all of his festive spirit fly out of his funnel. Oh, my. By the time Scarlowey arrived at the depot, he didn't feel very Christmassy at all. Duncan was complaining to me about the cold, and he told me there was no sand for our sandboxes. But there's plenty. He told me his passengers were slowing him down. Duncan seems determined to turn the holiday season into one big chore. I'm sure he'll cheer up when he sees the depot. Bah, humbug. All the snow and sand is turning into slush, and my wheels are wet and gritty. Well, I feel good as new. The fat controller is giving us all a fresh coat of paint for the winter. Typical. Trust the standard gauge engines to get special treatment. But the thin controllers had the same idea. There is a new coat of paint for us narrow gauge engines, too. A fresh coat of paint? <coughs> and not before time. With all the work I have to do, picking up extra passengers, remembering the new seasonal timetable, waiting around in the bitter cold, getting bugs in the face... If we could only find a way to stop Duncan complaining all the time. Or even just for one day. I think I'll have a word with the thin controller. First thing the following morning, Duncan sped to the steamworks where he found the thin controller talking to Victor. Morning, sir. I've come for my Christmas coat of paint. Is that right? Well, I hear from the other engines that you've been grumbling a lot lately. What? No. Well, no more than usual. You've been making everyone feel unhappy. And when engines aren't happy, they don't work so well. That's just the way I am. And you can like it or not. Well, I don't like it, Duncan. You can be first in line for a new coat of paint tomorrow morning if, and only if, you can be cheerful for the rest of today. Ah, I see. Well, no problem, sir. I can do that. Don't forget now, cheerful all day. 
The other engines will be keeping an eye on you. Duncan was determined to get himself a new coat of paint. I can be cheerful all day. Need bother. But then he met Reneus at the junction. Let's be careful, Duncan, and go extra slowly with all this snow. Thanks for the reminder, Reneus. <laughs> Gate Station, Duncan had to wait as families got on board with extra baggage. Ah, hello there, Duncan. Everything all right? Completely fine. Thank you. At the level crossing, the gates were frozen. So Duncan's passengers decided to hum a jolly Christmas song to pass the time. But Duncan didn't like it at all. He was about to give them a blast from his whistle when Rusty came along. What a lovely song, Duncan, isn't it? And then poor Duncan got stuck behind Luke who was struggling up a slippery slope. For buffer's sake, Luke, what's the hold-up? Rusty saw that Duncan had forgotten to be cheerful. Sorry, Duncan. I can't go on because my wheels keep slipping on the icy track. Can't you just grit it up with a little sand? I'm afraid my sandbox is empty. Duncan realised that by getting grumpy, he had hurt Luke's feelings. So he buffered up to Luke and dropped some sand on the rail. He gave him a little push to help him on his way again. Woo! Thanks, Duncan! And Rusty saw all of this too. Duncan was a little sad that he'd lost his temper. He knew what that meant. No coat of paint for him. But the following day, Duncan made his way to the steamworks anyway. He had decided to apologise to the thin controller. Good morning, sir. I know I failed your challenge and I wasn't cheerful all day, but... Say no more, Duncan. You did a good thing yesterday, helping out poor Luke when he was in a spot of bother. Oh, well, I suppose maybe I did. And for that, you deserve a special treat. You mean a new coat of paint? That's right, Duncan. Thank you, sir. That's very kind. From now on, I will try and be more cheerful, sir. At least some of the time. Very good, Duncan. But I think I might have been wrong to ask you to be cheerful all day. You do grumble a lot, but that's just the way you are. And it doesn't make you any less useful. Merry Christmas to you, Duncan. Merry Christmas to one and all. Wah, humbug. <laughs> <laughs>